LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're going to show you how to insert your key onto your keyboard and start out by looking at the keyboard. On the bottom here, there's a single large hook and at the top corners, there's two smaller hooks. Uh, you want to look at the different keys in case those change position. Sometimes the large hook can be at the top or even to the sides. And the position of the large hook determines the position for these pieces. And these are the hinges. So what we're going to do now is first click these two pieces together, then put that on the keyboard and the keycap on top of that. Uh, we're going to start out with the large piece, which is this. You can see that at the top corners it has two larger pins and at the bottom corners it has two small pins. But if you look at it from the side, you can see in the middle it has two holes. Those are so that the pins in the middle of the uh, small piece can click onto those. So make sure not to put this piece upside down like that because it'll look the same but it won't allow the mechanism to work so what you have to do is feel the vertical bars if you feel a bump in the middle that faces the keyboard and if it's just one smooth piece from top to the bottom that faces away from the keyboard so now you know the position for this piece uh, <clears throat> the small hook I mean the small pins go wherever the single large hook is so if, the, if it's on top then you want to I'll turn those accordingly. In this case, it's at the bottom, so do it like that. Now you know the position for that piece. Put it down for now, and you get your next piece, which is a small hinge. And this piece has two pins in the middle that are going to go in the middle of the large piece, and two pins on the top that are going to grab onto the keycap. So this smaller pointy side of the hinge has a bar at the bottom and I say bottom because that's where the uh, single large hook is uh, again if the large hook was at the top then you want to trim this accordingly but since it's at the bottom we're going to leave it like that now make sure not to put this key or uh, hinge upside down as well by feeling the top bar or looking at it really closely. If you see it goes thin or it has a, sort of a cave in the middle, uh, that piece faces, that part faces the keyboard and on top it's just one smooth piece. So now that you know the position for both pieces, you want to put the small piece over the large piece like that and put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the bottom bar of the large piece but at the same time you want to insert um, the pin that's on the left into the hole that's on the left of the large hook, uh, hinge so kind of like at the same time do that put one that pin into the hole once that's in grab that corner tightly so it doesn't come out again and we're, we have to put this pin that's on the right side of the small piece into the hole that's on the right side of the large piece and there's not enough space so you have to grab tightly the opposite corner 
and we have to stretch the large piece away from the small piece so that the pin has enough space to go into that hole. Just grab the large piece like that, stretch it away from the small piece, and put the pin into that hole just like that. Now both hinges are one. You want to put the bottom bar of the small piece where underneath the large hook and hold it there then stretch the uh, hinges enough for the top pins to go underneath the uh, hooks that are at the top and usually I use uh, something hard like a blade while still holding the bottom so it doesn't come off again and I just stretch the hinges and once those uh, pins are underneath the hook you want to just get your keycap, put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. Um, let's take a look at the large key. It's the same procedure only behind the keycap there's a metal wire. So we're going to show you how to put that in. This is the right position for the keycap and we're going to turn it this way so there's no confusion. Do not turn it this way. So go ahead and turn it over and you can see it has the four fittings for the uh, hinges. Two at the top and the two in the middle that are at the bottom are for the hinges. The one that's to the very left and the very right at the bottom are for the wire. Or yeah. So you want to put this wire in between those fittings that are at the very bottom right in the middle, push it down until you feel or hear a click, turn the keycap over and uh, open up the wire like that. Now with the uh, first part of this video you should already have the uh, hinges there then you want to put the wire underneath those metal plates that are to the right and left of the hinges so go ahead and put those wires underneath the uh, those metal plates. Then you turn your key over and push down evenly on the corners. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.